Both drivers ready. We begin in three, two, one, fight. And both spinning up very quickly. Yeah, sounds good. You can hear that saw bounce around the ground. This one gets underneath the, the flat spot there twice, actually getting it on its back. Uh, not that it's any worse for wear that way. And in fact, that saw does take out one of the googly eyes, both googly eyes. So he's now blind, but thankfully he knows how to drive regardless. As that nice low wedge gets under his knee, getting his opponent up into the vertical drum spinner. Uh, once again, the flat spot with that little thing, just taking off the pieces of plastic. Largely visual damage, everything's still working great. As Master Flack being driven by Curtis there, trying to get into it. Drives backwards with his armored part, which is a great idea, up into the weapon. Once again, this one trying to get underneath, trying to hit him, but hitting the armor on the back. Is the armor coming apart? Oh, that doesn't have armor, that's just plastic. For the long way, it looked like he had metal on there, but oh, that's just a plastic piece. Uh, this one doing a great job of trying to get in on Master Quack. Curtis, despite being a great driver, is a bit of a squirrely bot here. It's not going to have magnets holding it down to the steel floor as usual. And this one getting a little bit of a, a rub there on the backside still. Slowly starting to take that armor off. And you can see that plate kind of wobbling around. Both trying to get in a good position. Curtis here trying to move around his opponent so that he can get the black end against him. Spinning in place, hits the armor on the front of this one, bouncing off. This one chasing him down towards the corner. Drawing on at the right time to hit him, especially with those hazards there. If you can push your opponent into the hazards, they hit hard. <laughs> they could actually be some of the worst things we could do. Sometimes we'll actually put ourselves into the hazards in order to get the weapon spun up. Just about manages to get Master's Blast into the red, not quite, as they're now both over towards the red push up side. Let's him back upside down now. Master's Blast somewhat back in control. His weapon's still working great. Actually, most of the bot holding together really well. This one, absolutely no worse for wear, other than those googly eyes that are missing. Some nice white sparks coming off as the weapon hits that hardened titanium wedge on the front there. Holds up very nicely with those. Gets a push in there. Unfortunately, the weapon getting up on top of this one is bouncing off several times. Still, basically no damage on this one as we manage to get to the side of Master Track again. Curtis able to turn around, trying to get the weapon into this one. Lots of sparks, nice bright white titanium sparks. As unfortunately, Flack hits the wall, ends up flipping himself upside down, and once again, it's going to be a difficult situation. 41 seconds still to go to the match. Both of the push-outs are closed, so it's going to have to be a knockout if they don't want to go to a judge's decision, and nobody wants that. Once again, this one coming in quickly, the overhead spinning weapon, trying to get underneath the Flack, who keeps avoiding it just the last moment. Classic great driving there by Curtis. Gets another one in, nice and hard hit on the back. The master Flack hitting it to the wall and managed to get a pin. So you can hold him there for up to 10 seconds, but he decides to let go, I believe. And basically, you can kind of use that to show that you have control of the match as you go through. Good for scoring points on the technical side. It comes to that with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Nice spin there. 3, 2, as they get tallied up. 1, and that's the end of the fight. Three minutes is over. This will go to a judge's decision. Congratulations both to this one and to Master Quack. They held up very good despite both having pretty hard hitting uh, bots over there. So certainly nothing to sneeze at. Both held together really well, lots of hits. The judge is gonna take a look at here. Basically the way it works, we've got three major categories. So damage, aggression, and control. Damage you can imagine, uh, but it's gotta be real damage, not just superficial stuff like uh, you know eyeballs coming off. Um, aggression is all about going after your opponent. Are you going for them or are you running away? And then control is, are you the one controlling the direction of the fight? Do you put your opponent into bad positions? Can you pin them down? Can you get the hit and so on? All right, so unanimous, the win goes to this one. Congratulations, Tommy.